In this video, we're presenting a PEEP titration in an ARDS patient whose regional lung function was monitored by electrical impedance tomography. The recordings were performed at the Santa Ana Hospital of the University of Ferrara, Italy. We thank Professor Walter and the entire team at the University Hospital Ferrara. We are especially grateful for their willingness to explore the clinical potential of EIT. We investigated a 75-year-old female patient suffering from severe ARDS. She remained in the supine position while being ventilated in a volume-controlled mode. Initially, PEEP was increased from 5 to 10 centimeters of water. Before increasing PEEP further, a classical recruitment maneuver with a CPAP 40 centimeters of water for 40 seconds was performed. Thereafter, PEEP was increased to 15 centimeters of water before it was reduced in steps of 5 centimeters of water. Here, the trend of expiratory lung impedance during the entire PEEP titration is shown. When increasing PEEP, the end expiratory lung impedance increases as well. At 15 cm of water, we notice a recruitment-induced, more than proportional increment in end expiratory lung impedance indicated by the blue area above the PEEP line. With every subsequent reduction in PEEP, end expiratory lung impedance decreases while still remaining above the PEEP line. Please note the difference in end expiratory lung impedance levels at 5 and 10 cm of water before and after the recruitment. Now let's have a look at the silent spaces trend. Silent spaces are defined as areas within the lungs receiving little or no tidal ventilation at all. Depending on their location along the gravity vector, they are indicative of either lung collapse or overdistension. Increases in PEEP typically result in a reduction of dependent silent spaces. At PEEP 5 cm of water, silent spaces cover 35% of the lung. At PEEP 10 cm of water, dependent silent spaces decrease to 24% and at PEEP of 15 cm of water after the recruitment, they reach their minimum value of 10%. Once PEEP is lowered, silent spaces increase from 17% to 38% at a PEEP of 5 cm of water. Please note that the center of ventilation shifts centrally after applying recruitment and an adequate level of PEEP. All of the above EIT findings indicate an open lung condition at PEEP 15 cm of water. Here we are presenting the rather strong correlation between the changes in the dependent silent spaces and the end expiratory lung volume as measured by the ventilator. The higher the end expiratory lung volume and thus the functional lung size for ventilation, the lower the silent spaces. Furthermore, the partial pressure of oxygenation improves as the silent spaces become smaller. The partial pressure of oxygenation of 100 mm of mercury doubles as silent spaces decrease from around 40 to 10 percent. Do things right. EIT, real-time monitoring, by Swisstom.